Samsung's brand new artificial intelligence on the S24 series called Galaxy AI brings some pretty cool hidden features with it. For example, there's an infinite slow motion trick that allows you to take a regular video like this and slow it down to literally any speed you want, even past 3800 frames per second to get you over 128 times slower than real life. For perspective, the iPhone 15 Pro Max can only make things eight times slower. In today's video, I'll show you how to create these custom slow motion videos, as well as take a deep dive into all that Galaxy AI has to offer. Let's get started. If you've seen my other videos on the S24 series, you'd know that you could just long press on any video to make it play back four times slower. And you'd also know that if you tap on the video, then tap this little pencil icon, you could tap adjust speed and make any section of the video permanently slower. But what you wouldn't know is that you could repeat this process indefinitely if you just tap these three dots in the upper right corner, then tap save as copy. This will create a new video with the slow motion portion embedded directly into the video. So now if I tap this pencil icon again on this new video, I'll be able to tap adjust speed again, and I could slow it down by another substantial amount, then tap the three dots again and tap save as copy again. So what started as a normal speed video is now 64 times slower than real life. But keep in mind, this is done using artificial intelligence to fill in the missing frames and slow the video down. So if I zoom in here, you may see that there's a little bit of warping that's happening as it's trying to fill in the missing frames. And it's also not an entirely smooth video. It's a bit jittery right now. So the way to fix this is to record your video in the fastest frame rate possible. To do that, just double click the side button to go into your camera app, then go to the more menu, then slow motion video, and make sure it's set to full HD at 240 frames per second. Starting with this frame rate is how I was able to get that incredible slow motion video of the water balloon popping. Besides the hidden super slow motion feature, if you jump back to your home screen and pinch in to get to your home screen editor, then tap wallpaper and style, then tap change wallpapers and scroll down a bit, you'll see a new option here called generative. And if you tap this, you'll be able to use AI to generate your own custom wallpaper. And if you scroll down, you'll see that you have nine different categories to pick from. And if you tap into one of these categories, you have multiple parameters to change for each category. So this is the imaginary category, and I can change this from a lamp to a bunch of different things here. So let's go ahead and choose palace. And now I can also change what it's made out of. Instead of flowers, let's make the palace made out of sapphire. And we can change the shades that it's in. So instead of pink and purple, let's go with green and teal Then tap generate. After a few seconds, we get our palaces generated based on the parameters that we selected. While the generative AI features are pretty cool for wallpapers, they also extend into the gallery application. So if I jump into my gallery, I have a picture here of a bunch of trees after a snowstorm, but there's a bunch of other stuff in the picture that makes it not look quite as nice. So if I go ahead and tap this edit icon here and tap this AI icon, and I'll go ahead and take my S Pen out for this. I'm gonna draw a box around everything I wanna remove. And if I zoom in and see that some things were missed, I can just draw a circle around those things and make sure everything's captured. From here, I can long press the selection, then tap this erase icon, and it'll remove that from the image. Now I'll just tap generate, and after about 10 seconds, Galaxy AI will give me a much better looking photo. So there's the original, and there's the AI generated one. And this is different every time. So if I tap done here, and I tap save as copy. I'll have this snowy field option, but a little bit earlier, I did the same test and I got a frozen lake. That means if you don't like the results the first time, you can just do it again and get completely different results. And one important thing to note, whenever you generate a photo using Galaxy AI, is that you'll get this little icon in the bottom left corner to let people know that this is an AI generated image. And the metadata from the photo will also be changed. Removing things from images is great, but you could also move specific things in an image around. So if I jump back into that AI editor, then tap myself, I can long press and drag myself back to a different area and shrink myself down a bit. And I can also adjust the rotation of the image a bit. And all this checkered pattern is gonna be filled in automatically by AI. So now if I tap generate, it's gonna fill in a ton of details that were never there and even give me legs. And while this is pretty cool, it's not always perfect. So if I tap done, and zoom in a bit here, you'll see that some of the texture in the wall is lost. But overall, it does a pretty good job. And again, for reference, here's the before and after. 
And just for giggles, you can continue to rotate back and forth using generative AI for the corners and add more and more AI generated image. But it does get pretty wonky looking after a while. And here's one last example that I thought was pretty cool. So if I tap this car and delete it, then tap generate, it'll actually fill that space with a completely different car, which is really cool. I'm sure you've heard of Circle Search by now, especially if you saw my S24 Ultra unboxing and S23 Ultra comparison video, where I used Circle Search to figure out which backpack Michael Fisher was wearing. But this feature is useful for far more than just a product search. Right here, I've got a pretty random photo of a ceiling that I took. But if I long press the home button to bring up Circle to Search, then tap on the screen, Google will search through that photo, and the first hit right there is exactly the same spot that I took this photo. If you look here, you'll see the smoke detector right next to the light. And if I go back, you'll see that same smoke detector right there. Circle to search is also great for text. If you ever want to quickly look something up, just long press the home button to get to circle to search, then draw a line through the text you want to search for. And just like that, I've got the video right there. That is wildly fast. You can even use this to start navigation by highlighting an address. Now I just swipe up and I can tap to start navigating or even reserve a table or order online just because I swiped across some text. This is a dramatically faster way to search for things and get useful results. And I think this is gonna be one of the most used AI features on the Galaxy S24. The next hidden AI feature is found in settings. We're gonna go ahead and scroll down to advanced features. Then we're gonna jump into labs. And at the bottom, you'll see an option called photo ambient wallpaper. If you enable this, then go to your home screen and pinch in to get to the editor, then go to wallpapers and style, then change wallpapers and down to the creative section, you'll see this new option here called Photo Ambient. And if you select one of your photos, it will dynamically change that wallpaper based on the weather. So if I tap play here in the bottom corner, you'll see that when it's raining, it'll show a raining animation on top of my photo. And when it's snowing, it'll show a snowing animation, but it also has other animations for whether it's day or nighttime. And you'll even get animations for when it's sunny out. Now let's take a deep dive into the core AI features starting with real-time translation during calls. So right now I have a live call set up with the S24 Ultra on the right and the S23 Ultra on the left. And if I go ahead and tap call assist, you'll see an option here called live translate. And if I tap this, it'll start translating my call from English to Spanish. And you might've heard right there, as soon as it went into this mode, it automatically sent this message in Spanish to the other person. And now I'll simulate a conversation for you so you can see what happens. So I'm going to swipe over and unmute myself and just say something. Hey, Grandpa, how have things been? Hey, Abuelo, ¿cómo han sido las cosas? And now I'll reply and we'll see it translated back. Bueno, tengo un nuevo casa. Well, I have a new house. That's awesome. When did you buy that? Eso es impresionante. ¿Cuándo comprarías eso? Lo compré en julio. I bought it in July. These call translation features are also customizable. If we go back into our settings, then back into advanced features, then advanced intelligence, then tap the phone option, you can scroll down a little bit and change the voice for you and the other person. So if I select this, the default is a woman's voice. This is what it sounds like when you're translating a call. But you could change it to a man's voice. This is what it sounds like when you're translating a call. And you could also change the speech rate from something super slow. This is what it sounds like when you're translating a call. To something super fast. This is what it sounds like when you're translating a call. And those same customization options exist for the other person as well. You also have the option to mute your voice. And what this does is stops the other person from being able to hear your actual voice. And they'll only hear the translation voice. And you can do the same for them as well to just mute their voice and only hear the translation. And all the way at the bottom, you can set language and voice presets for each individual person. And this allows you to automatically convert to the correct language, regardless of which contact you're talking to. And in terms of languages, if you tap language here, right now they have this list of available languages, and that's it. If you don't see the language you want here, you won't be able to use the live call translations. But Samsung should be adding more languages in the future. If you're in the Samsung internet browser, and there's a really long page that you're reading, and you just want a quick summary of that page, all you have to do is tap these stars at the bottom, then tap Summarize. This will give you a brief summary of that page to give you an idea of what the article is about without having to read the whole thing. But if you want more information, you can tap this icon in the upper right corner, then tap Detailed, and this will give you a more detailed summary of the article if you want more information.
And if you want, you could tap Translate here at the bottom to translate the summary into a different language. Then you can pick a different language right here. If you'd prefer to translate the entire web page, just tap these stars at the bottom again, then tap Translate. And after a few moments, you'll have the translated article in place. And what's really impressive about this is that it keeps all the same formatting. Now let's take a look at some of the powerful AI keyboard features. To get to those, just tap the AI icon on the left, and you'll see that we get three options. The first option is chat translation. This will automatically translate your text to and from other people. So if I tap in here, and I want to send a message in Spanish to somebody else, I'll enter the message here at the bottom in English, and it'll automatically be translated to Spanish. And when I tap send, it'll send the message in Spanish. Then when I receive a message back, I'll get it both in Spanish and in English directly underneath. But on the other device, they'll only see the conversation in the translated language. The second AI feature is writing style. And this can help you write a message that's more professional, casual, social, polite, or even emojify your message. And the last AI feature is spelling and grammar, which is basically a more advanced spelling and grammar checker. And if you like the changes, just tap insert, and they'll replace your text with the corrected text. And in case you're wondering, chat translation currently only works in messaging apps like Samsung's messaging app, Google Messenger, and WhatsApp, but not in apps like Telegram, and I'm sure there's a bunch of others that it doesn't work in as well. However, support for those apps may be added in a future update. But writing style and spelling and grammar are tied directly to Samsung's keyboard, so as long as you're using Samsung's keyboard, you could use these two AI features in any application, including emails, notes, and whatever else you'd like. If you're ever traveling abroad and need to talk to someone in a different language, or someone else comes to you and starts speaking a different language that you don't understand, you can just pull your notification shade down twice to reveal your quick toggles, then swipe over once, and you'll see an option here called Interpreter. If you tap this, it'll open up a live translator. Then you just pick your language and the language you want to interpret to. So if someone came up to me speaking in Spanish, I could just tap the microphone icon to translate it. ¿Dónde está el baño? Where's the bathroom? I don't know, man. Your guess is as good as mine. And as you can see, after the other person finished saying what they were saying, it automatically started translating my English to Spanish. And if I want to keep the conversation going, I just tap the microphone again. Eso es muy mal. No voy a lograrlo. That's very bad. I'm not going to make it. And if you want to make it easier for the other person to read the translations, you can just tap this icon here, and it'll flip it over so you guys can both read your translations. If you tap the three dots, you can go to settings, and you can download more languages to use. And currently, these are the only available languages, but I'm sure more will be added in a future update. You can also change the voice styles for each individual language. And currently, there's just a male voice and a female voice. This is what it sounds like when you're translating. This is what it sounds like when you're translating. The other option you get is tap to talk. And what this does is make you have to tap the microphone every time you want to say something instead of having to tap once for each exchange. Samsung Notes gets its own suite of really useful AI features. Right here, I have a note on a bunch of different things that the AI features can do, but it's really hard to read through because it's all just jumbled together. If I tap this AI icon at the bottom, then drag to select the entire note, I can select auto format, then headers and bullets, and it'll automatically format that note into different sections with their own headers and their own bullet points, making it a lot easier to make sense of the note. And there's different versions of this as well, depending on what you're looking for. And once you find a format you like, you can either copy it and paste it anywhere you'd like. You can replace the text that you selected with the new format, or you can add this new formatted text to the note. And you get the option to either add it to the page before your selection, or just create a brand new note. The AI features in Samsung Notes also allow you to summarize the text, but there are some limitations here. If I drag the selection down as far as it'll go, it'll tell me that I can't select any more text after I go down a few pages. Then if I tap summarize, it'll shrink that text down even more because it can't do a summary on a ton of text. And instead, I'll be limited to about eight and a half pages worth of size 14 font text, which to be fair is still a lot of text. Once you tap summarize, you receive a basic summary of all of that text. But if you tap this icon in the upper right corner, you can switch to a detailed summary and you'll see even more information. And you get the same three copy, replace and add to options as you did with the auto format feature. You also get an advanced spelling and grammar checker, and all the underlined words are the things that it changed. And if you tap one of the underlined words, it'll tell you what it changed. And the last AI option is to translate all of the text. And this all happens very quickly. 
And one more important thing to point out about this translate feature is it is still limited on how much text it could translate in one shot. More specifically, it's about 11 pages worth of size 14 font, but that's still more text than the summarize feature can do. If you take a lot of handwritten notes and you find that your handwriting is never quite straight, you could use AI to straighten it for you. Now I went a little over the top here. Obviously you'd never be writing diagonally down or curving like this and then having all these really weird angles, but I just wanted to show you how well this works. So if I go down to these pen tools here and I scroll over a little bit, you'll see this pen with a wand icon. And if I tap this, I'll get the option to align handwriting. And if I tap this, it'll align that perfectly straight. But unfortunately, while the text is now straight, it's not quite lined up all the way to the left, so it's not perfect, but this is still a substantial improvement over what it previously was. And if you tap settings while you're aligning your handwriting, you could choose what exactly gets aligned. And just a quick point of clarification, while this first conversion has the text not completely lined up on the left side, if the text you're starting with does have all the text lined up properly on the left side to start with, it will keep that alignment once you straighten it. And in case you're wondering, all the AI features are still available with handwriting. The only difference is that it'll first convert your handwriting to text before it uses those features. The last really useful AI feature in Samsung Notes is found by long pressing a note and selecting multiples if you'd like, then tapping this more icon in the bottom right corner, then tapping generate covers. What this will do is analyze your notes, then generate covers with summaries based on what's in those notes. So if I tap done here, those covers will be added and now I have a brief summary of what's in those notes. This next AI feature is found right on your lock screen. So if I double tap my screen to wake it up, then just tap the clock, then scroll down to the bottom, you'll see this little record option here. And if I tap this, it'll start recording everything I'm saying. And this will continue to do that even if I turn the screen off. Then once I'm ready to stop recording, I can double tap my screen again, tap this microphone icon, then tap to stop the recording. Now, if I unlock my phone and go to my Samsung app folder and open up the voice recorder application, I'll see my voice recordings right here. And if I tap the recent recording, I get the option to transcribe the recording in a bunch of different languages. You can also add more languages if you'd like. And not only will this transcribe everything that was said, but if I tap this icon in the upper right corner, I'll be able to translate it to a different language as well. And this would be especially useful if you're taking a foreign language class in college and the professor is only speaking in the foreign language. You could record the entire lecture with this voice recorder, then translate it after the class so you could make sure you fully understood everything they were saying. You can also get a summary of the transcript as well, which would be especially useful for really long transcripts. You could then take either the transcript or the summary, then tap these three dots in the upper right corner and add that to Samsung Notes. And not only will that add the summary, but it will also add in the voice recording so I could play it right from within the note. Another really cool feature with transcribing your audio recordings is that the transcriber can figure out when multiple people are speaking and it'll separate the transcript based on which person is speaking. Not only that, but if you swipe up on this bar here, you get some extra playback options and you have this option here to skip silences. So at any point when someone is not talking, it's just going to skip over that silence and make it faster to listen back to the transcript without wasting time on silences. If we jump back into the AI feature settings and scroll to the bottom, you'll see an option here to process data only on your device. And what this does is prevent your AI related data from being processed online by Samsung servers. However, this does limit the AI features you'll have available. More specifically, it'll disable the Samsung Notes auto format, summarize and correct spelling features, as well as the generative fill and AI photo editing features. But the rest of the AI features will continue to work. And this brings up some bad news. Samsung confirmed that they'll be locking some of these AI features behind a subscription at the end of 2025. And the reason for this is because Samsung needs to pay for all the servers that are required to use some of these AI features. But considering that many of these features work, even when you disable access to Samsung servers, I'm sure that the limitations will be identical to just turning on this local processing toggle. So we should still get access to many of these features even into 2026 and beyond. If you want to see over 60 more incredibly useful features that you should enable on your S24, you can check out this video here. Or if you're all featured out for now, you can check out the best accessories for Samsung phones by clicking this video instead. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you don't want to miss more deep dive S24 Ultra videos coming up real soon. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys and I'll catch you in the next one.